So in this video we're going to talk about using cyberware to increase our capabilities in Cyberpunk 2077. And here we're at Vic's clinic for the first time and I have $2400 and he's going to allow me to buy the tyrosine injector which increases breach protocol time by 100% without 12 street cred required at other rivers. The next thing we're going to work on and we're going to do everything we can to increase our crit damage and our crit chance. And so we're going to put weak spot detection in the eye slot to increase the crit chance. To further increase our crit chance, we're at the ripper here that's on the left side of Kabuki Circle. And we're going to buy the Limbic system for $3,000, which is going to give us another 7% crit chance, which is going to just increase the ability to do the killing faster. This is where we get a free reflex tuner, and we can install it when we can meet the criteria the requirements to install it. We can't install it now. This, you're going to get this early in the game. This is a green version. All higher level uh, cyberware is going to have different requirements depending on how you've developed your character skill tree. Whether you have it in body, reflexes, crafting, uh, intelligence, or cool. Next I'm going to show you this map from Reddit that identifies the number for every Ripper dock in Night City. So when you have a number associated you can kind of guess where it is. Victor's place is number four. Number two is Cassius Ryder. And as you can see there's five Rippers in Watson. So next I'm going to show you what some, some of the Rippers have. Uh, this guy is the one who's east of Kabuki Circle. And what kind you, of stuff you, you got? You can tell by what it's looked like if you've been there before. Anyway, the frontal cortex, I'm just showing he's got memory boost, and he's got RAM upgrade. If you look close, you'll notice that each of the cyberware that you're going to install has a requirement that you have to have so many attribute points into body, reflexes, engineering, cool, or intelligence. So if you're put all your points into reflexes, you're not going to be able to put uh, points into intelligence that are high enough to be able to install some of the things that intelligence requires. And the same is true for everything else. So I like a more evened out system where I am put more into some things but not into others. Because I like quick hacking so I'm doing the Netrunner thing so it would be heavily intelligence and cool and engineering and not so much reflexes and not so much body. Body's a requirement though to do takedowns and you're going to need a higher level of attributes in body in order to do takedowns on stronger guys and takedowns are really great to do. The other thing is if you don't have high enough level body then there's going to be doors that you can't open. Some doors are open with body and some doors will open with engineering and some will open with either. But your level of body has to be pretty fairly high, even though it's almost impossible to level up in the three attributes that body has. I don't bother with getting any of the arm implements at the rare level. I wait until I can get the epic level where you need 25 street cred and you have to be in lower night city to go to rippers down there in order to buy them. So here's Ripper number two on the list, Cassius Ryder in North Watson. What's and uh, he's got some interesting stuff here that you can't get other places. Each one has their own stuff. So you got the rare Limbic version. And, uh, you know, you just look at all of them. And they each have a requirement that if you don't meet the requirement, you can't install them. Some things are nice to have. Other things don't make that much of a deal. You know, it's like the health pump where you need to use your middle mouse button to install it. I'm sorry, I like my middle mouse button to throw grenades. I don't want to install my health pump there. You know, self-ice. I'm not really bothered by quick hacks affecting me enough that health uh, boosters don't stop that. The next thing I believe is that anytime you have an empty slot, that's a slot that's wasted. So if you can put something in it and it's not that overly expensive, just do it. Put, it, put something in the slot. It's going to help you. As soon as I get 12 street cred, I get this Biodyne Mark II rare version. It's a 9.64. It gives me a few extra buffers so I can make a little more money quick hacking. And I think it's worthwhile getting. So here we are west of Kabuki Circle. It's Dr. Chrome, and he's number three on the list. 
The heal on kill might be good if you invested into the guns and reflexes. And if you were into guns, you'd also want the limbic system to increase your crit chance as there's no requirement. And you can see the tyrosine injector has a 12 street cred requirement, which it didn't at VIX. I get the synaptic accelerator because it slows time. And the Koreshnikov isn't bad. Sometimes I wonder if these add-on integumentary systems like the ground plating. I've had that a lot of times and still got one-shotted by Valentinos where I'm bursting into an electrical charge and die. As soon as I get the extra 14 grand, I get the legendary subdermal armor, though, because extra 200 armor is great. You know, you might have only bumped yourself up to 300 or 400, and to get up to 700 just because you bought an add-on, great. There is a difference in decks, because you'll notice that the 964, compared to these, it makes a little bit of a difference. So I started the game out and I went to each of the rippers and I just recorded what each of them had and I wrote it down in a, on a word doc so that I'd be able to find them later and makes it easier if I'm looking for something and I know that I'm looking for something at one of the numbers of the ripper dock locations. Hope this helps. You might be able to figure out what you're looking for and what the requirements are. I didn't use smart weapons early in the game, so I go to Wakako after the Night City opens up, and I go talk to Wakako, and I get the dermal implant that allows me to have uh, smart weapons in my hands for free. So here's the stats at level 14 for the cyberware that I'm running. I have $92,000. I'm level 14. I get 24 street cred, and I'm just showing what my investment into the character tree is at this point. Now, every time you use body, reflexes, technical, cool, and intelligence, it upgrades you just for using it. So you just look and see what level you're at in each one of them. And if you're low, then put a point into that field. All cyberware that you install is going to buff and improve your statistics. And it is going to be dependent on your level because your level gives you an attribute point for each time you level up. You start off with 22, and if you get 50 more, that's going to be about 72. And as you get higher in each of uh, the categories of body, reflexes, engineering, cool, and intelligence, the legendary cyberware is always going to be for people that have pretty high levels in each one of those. At level 24 here I can take on pretty much any job in the on the map. There's no job that I can't take on if I want to go slow. So I'm just showing you at level 35, 50 street cred, this is what I have. And um, of course you would need high intelligence in order to get the legendary uh, frontal cortex stuff and limbic system. But you can see I only have level 7 in reflexes and I home have almost no uh, perk points in the reflexes. So here I'm going to just go in and show you what I can do with the Psalm 1116 at level 35 on a high difficulty level uh, mission here. It's pretty easy just to go through and wipe everybody out. Well that's that using ping and the uh, breakthrough sniper rifle. So as you can see, I only have seven in reflexes, and I have hardly any perks in reflexes. I only put seven in there because I get extra perk points and crit damage and other buffs just from using guns, which you're always using anyway. And if you don't put any points into it, you won't get those perks and buffs. So I hope this video has been helpful in figuring out how cyberware works and how the buffs work for you and how to acquire stuff for free in some cases and install it and what the requirements are and where you can get it all. Thanks for watching. Excellent. Equilibrium sometimes demands sacrifices. Contract close.